as we are doing this course in this way, I can show you how the lateral flow design works. So as you can see here, we have a classical pregnancy test. Here is my sample pad, and those one are the two testing zones. So there should be here the respiratory T, so this one should be the test one, and this one should be the control line. Now let's put a little bit of force and start opening this device to show you how the, the lateral flow works. And this is how it looks like. Let's try to remove it from the case. And this is exactly how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. This is the lateral flow strips. Here we have the sample pad. Here we have the conjugate pad, the testing zone, and the wicking pad. Clear, and also you can see that it's not a straight line or a straight piece of paper, but you have different jumps. And those jumps are for mixing, for better mixing the analyte with your reagents. So again, once more, here you put your analytes, here it will be mixed with the reagents that you can see they are colored here. They will flow through the reaction zones and here it's for the wicking pad. So all the liquid that is not absorbed, it will flow through. And for showing how it works, I can also make a single test uh, I have some just tap water. If I put my tap water here, maybe another little bit, nothing will happen. And that's because there are no reagents here. Nothing is going to happen here. The only things that I have here are the um, the covalently attached molecules, but the reagents for coloring are not here. Now, on the other hand, if I start putting my liquid here, you see the reagents are moving. The liquid that I put here start mixing with the reagents and the reagents are flowing through. And as the reagents are flowing through, then this one is my control line. They are reacting with the molecules that are on control line and I can have a signal. And at the end they are touching the wicking pad and this one is collecting all the water, all the analytes that goes in this direction. And if I'm checking again, this one was the position. So here you put your analyte, your sample, this one was the test, so somewhere here, but nothing react, and this one is the control line. So the test is working, but my water is not pregnant. So once more, here I have my sample pad, here my conjugate pad, where all the reagents are mixing together with my, my liquid. They are flowing through, there is nothing in the test zone, but the control zone is working, it shows me that this, that this test is still working. So that the reagents are here are still good for working. Then wicking pad. Easy peasy, but pretty amazing lateral flow design.